In today's world, each of us is striving to learn and work towards pursuing a warm, leisurely destination. This has almost become a general goal of society, as people often choose to sacrifice their youth to save for future days. Therefore, for young people, the phrasey fulfillment perhaps always lies in the future, in a tomorrow that they themselves are not sure when it will come. Accompanying this is the fact that people today often carry a tendency to be dissatisfied with the life they have. They harbor negative views within themselves, focusing not on the things they already have, but on what they lack, on the things they cannot achieve. Not only that, they constantly use judgmental eyes to look at the lives of others, always believing that others are happier than they are. Understanding the current state of life, in today's video, we will share with you lessons on learning to be content with life through the following story about a crow and a wise man. The ancient story goes that there was a crow who lived very unhappily. It always felt unloved, as if it were despised by others, and no one cared about it. The sadness within the crow made it cry constantly. One day the crow sat crying on a tree branch, and its tears fell onto a wise man sitting under the tree. The wise man observed the crow and asked, Crow, why are you crying? Please tell me about your sorrow. Hearing the wise man's question, the crow replied, Sir, I feel that my life is very unfortunate. No one loves me. No one cares about me. And everyone just wants to chase me away. I feel that I don't receive anything good, and this pain makes me wish I didn't exist in this world anymore. I think it's better to die than to live an unhappy life like this. Listening to the crow's confession, the wise man felt deep sympathy and said to the crow, Dear crow, let me tell you something. Learn to find happiness in every situation, in every condition of life. We should not rely on external things to determine our happiness. Instead, seek joy from within ourselves. The wise man's advice, though simple and concise, carried profound meaning. Unfortunately, the crow couldn't fully grasp the hidden significance in the wise man's words, and it continued to cry. Seeing this, the wise man continued to patiently explain, Tell me, what do you want to become to make your life less unhappy? I will help you achieve that through my magic. The crow was greatly surprised and eagerly replied, If possible, please turn me into a swan. Swans are beautiful and graceful birds, and if I become one, people will love me more. The wise man agreed to the crow's request and said, I will transform you into a swan, but before we perform this transformation, go and meet a real swan and help me ask it if it feels truly happy with its life. Hearing the wise man's agreement, the crow happily flew away and by chance came across a swan swimming in a pond. Without hesitation, the crow showed deep admiration for the beautiful white swan gracefully gliding in the water and said, Oh dear swan, you are truly beautiful and enchanting. Not only that, but everyone loves you. Surely you are the happiest bird in the world. Contrary to the crow's admiration, the swan in the pond responded with a sad tone and a melancholic mood. Dear crow, you know I am not happy. Even though everyone admires and loves me, what I truly desire is to have the vibrant and diverse colors of various flowers. I am tired of the white color on my body. It's not valuable. With such a pale color, I feel worthless. To me, the parrot is the happiest bird because it carries the bright and varied colors on its feathers. Moreover, it enjoys freedom in nature, interacts with various creatures and different flowers and grasses. I'm constantly afraid that someone will pluck my beautiful feathers for decoration and I live in fear of being forgotten by these people. Despite witnessing the swan's disillusionment, the crow persisted in its belief that swans were the happiest birds in the world. It continued to search for a truly happy swan, and eventually, it found one that was imprisoned in a zoo. Hundreds of people came to see it and admired its exquisite beauty. When everyone left, the crow approached the enclosure where the swan was kept and said, Oh, Swan, you are so beautiful and famous. Everyone admires you and enjoys looking at you. Surely, you are the happiest bird in the world. Contrary to the crow's admiration, the swan inside the cage also replied, sounding sad. No, dear crow, I am not happy. Even though people admire and enjoy looking at me, 
It only shows that I am a source of entertainment, a spectacle for them. I am not happy because I have my own suffering. Every day I am confined in this cage, unable to freely fly and explore the outside world. Because they like looking at me, they always want to capture and confine me. I live in constant fear that someone will take my beautiful feathers for decoration, and I fear that I will be forgotten by these people. Stopping for a moment, the swan continued to speak. Before, I always thought I would be happy if I had more vibrant colors on my body. But now I realize that being a crow like you is truly happiness. You are not locked in a cage, and no one tries to capture you. You are free to soar everywhere and you can blend with nature. I admire you very much and I wish I could become a crow like you. You should feel grateful for being able to fly freely. By this point, the crow had finally understood and felt the underlying messages in the wise man's advice. It bid farewell to the swan and flew back to the tree where it had perched initially. The crow spoke, Sir, I understand now. I don't want to become any other bird. I am proud to be myself, and I have also come to understand the value of freedom in life. From now on, I will learn to be happy and content with what I have, instead of focusing on what I lack. Through the story of the crow and the wise man, surely each of us has drawn many lessons. Among them, the lesson of seeking happiness is one of the most important keys. We must understand that life may contain many difficulties and challenges, but true happiness does not always come from external factors. Therefore, we need to learn to find joy and happiness from within ourselves, from our inner world, from how we face life and our dreams. According to the philosophy of simplicity, happiness is not something too distant. Rather, it is when you accept and are content with what you have, which leads you to a happy life. Being content with the present is happiness, but how to achieve it depends on each person's way of living and thinking. Happiness is essentially satisfaction, and if you want to satisfy yourself, first, you must know who you are. Don't compare yourself to others, as expectations arise when you compare. If you keep comparing yourself to others, you will never achieve great ideals. So instead of comparing yourself to others, be happy to embrace the good things in life. Don't envy what others have. Live your own life to fully enjoy it. Only when you stop comparing will you feel content. Happiness seems simple. It is when you are not greedy, not worried, and not looking for things far from reality. Don't think too much about the past, and don't worry too much about the future. Live fully in the present. You will realize that what you have is the result of your efforts in the present and the past. Therefore, cherish and be happy with it. Understand that all your current efforts are for a future goal, which is happiness. Positive thinking, less resentment, and a comfortable soul can make you feel happy. If you keep competing and calculating, you will always live in stress and sorrow, so you will never find peace in your soul. Let yourself live comfortably. This is more important than anything else. Living a simpler life makes you feel more comfortable. To make life lighter and more pleasant, start appreciating simple things. Know your limits, don't force yourself to overcome them as pushing too hard makes you feel exhausted. Lower your own standards, understand your weaknesses, and accept what you have. Change what you are not satisfied with. And if you can't change it, accept it. Know failure and confront it to overcome it. It is through failure that we realize our shortcomings and what needs to be done to correct those mistakes. Happiness isn't when you possess more, but when you demand less. Enjoy every meaning and appreciate all the beauty that life is bestowing upon you, and happiness will come to you. We must always remember that every individual in this world has unique qualities and characteristics. Therefore, if we don't appreciate what we have, we will never feel abundance. When we find joy and contentment deep within ourselves, that is when we have the key to unlocking the door to success and happiness. We hope that the story we shared in today's video will inspire you, helping you learn to love yourself and be content with what you have. Always remember that life is never perfect, and each of us faces our own difficulties and sorrows. So, never compare yourself to others, and do not envy their happiness.
because we can't know what challenges and obstacles they have faced behind the happiness we witness. Through today's video, we have explored the lesson of being content with what we have. If you find the content we shared useful, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel to continue this journey with us in the future. Thank you for watching our video and we look forward to seeing you in the upcoming ones.